Today I'm going to build a new welding cart for my HTP 221 TIG welder over here. I've had this for five or six years and most of the time I've owned it I had it on this rat rod style welding cart that I built for it quite a while ago. It's cool but it's kind of impractical and it's a little rickety so I think I'm going to do a more conventional tube like a square tube frame like the one I built for this Millermatic. This is the card I built for my MIG welder, and the dimensions of this are almost perfect for this TIG. So I'm pretty much just gonna copy it. I'm gonna make it like half an inch wider, just because that fairly wide water cooler has to clear these vertical posts. But otherwise, I think I'll do it very similar to this and should match nicely. It's probably been about six years since I built this little cart. It's all old 30s, 40s era wrenches welded together. That's kind of cool and it served me well, but I was just getting started back then. So I'll stick this on Craigslist, see if somebody wants to give me like $40 for it and get started on a new one. The base and top platform are all cut out. This is a two inch, 14 gauge steel. This will be the bottom side of the base. See these weld seams? That'll usually show through paint, so I like to orient those in a way that you won't really see them. These are just 22 and a half degree miters. You know, you pretty much just need 90 degrees to get a square, so four times 22 and a half gets you that. So I'll just get this all squared up on the bench and weld it and grind them smooth. Well, I got the upper and lower frame all welded together and smoothed out. I usually just knock down the welds with a abrasive wheel like this and then finish it with a flat sanding disc, 80 grit or similar, just so you get a nice smooth finish. That kind of, that or even a flap disc will kind of dig down and you'll end up with gouges. I cut a piece of 16 gauge out. This is where the tank will sit. I had originally planned on putting steel inside of these frames, but I think I'm gonna stick with the wood thing. So these two by 12s fit real close. They're just a little too wide. They need like a quarter inch shaved off the width. So I think I'm gonna ask my neighbor if he can uh, joint those down. Very nice.
just a piece of inch and a quarter tubing, mitered at 45 and then cut down a little. And just stick that right there. And then the tank will wedge in there. You can run a strap around it into these holes. Then to anchor the welder down, since the, the corners of that welder are almost exactly one inch radius, I cut up this piece of one inch black pipe into quarters. I usually buy nicer casters when I'm building something like this. I'm on a little budget for this one, so I'm just gonna repurpose these ones. I think they're from a shelf, but I'll just lop that end off right where that groove is cut for the little ring, so it looks a little more finished. My buddy gave me a gallon of this muriatic acid and my neighbor was saying it could be used to remove galvanizing. So I figured that'd be fun to try. Normally I would just grind off this galvanizing or zinc coating. Here's a close up shot. This definitely puts off some caustic fumes so Wear gloves and do it in a ventilated area, but that works really well. Update. Do not put muriatic acid in an aluminum can. It will eat through it. I guess some sort of a plastic vessel would have been a much better choice, but that's okay. I'm done with this anyway. I'm staining these pieces of pine now using a very rare oil-based stain. I import this stuff from Italy. That was a joke, by the way. This is just used diesel oil out of my truck. I wouldn't use it on something going inside of a house, but it looks pretty cool. It's free, so. I'm just gonna make a little grab handle here on the front, and then a couple of hooks to wrap the leads around. And then I think I'm gonna make some sort of little bracket so I could slide this foot pedal into place. I think I'm just going to use this half inch bar stock for everything. It's easy to work with and looks pretty good. Easy way to put a little radius on a piece of half inch bar. Just chuck it up in the drill as long as it's relatively straight. Almost done. I don't think it looks too bad with those casters on there. Gives it some extra stability having them on the outside edge. Got it all outfitted with hooks and stuff. I think I'll do power cord and ground on this one. This is for the foot pedal. Sits right in there. Do the TIG torch in this one and just a little grab handle. Same half inch rod and just little pieces of pipe welded to the frame. So, it's gonna throw a coat of paint on this in the morning and I think it'll be all set.
Old versus the new one. I think this came out real nice. Just gotta get everything loaded on it and it'll be ready to use. Well, this project's all done. It took me a while, but it was definitely worth it. Plus, it's kind of like the big brother to my other welding cart. This new one's a little bigger and I did slightly different angles, but matches pretty nicely. Well, thanks for watching.